Walker. Okay, today on Georgie Kitchen, we're making a cake from a box. Now, I know this might sound weird, but to tell you the truth, there are some people out there who don't know how to make cake out of box because they see the they see the the box, they think the the icing comes with it, where it doesn't. So I just thought, hey, you know what? It's my dad's birthday today. I'm gonna make him a cake. Might as well show people how to make a cake. And we're trying to go for a healthier option because in my house we're trying to cut down on sugar and it here. Okay, helps you measure. All right, so what I got here is I mixed the, it says three eggs, we're gonna try not to make it so eggy. So I mixed two eggs, so you need to crack two eggs there. Um, one and a quarter cup water or milk. I've used water and vegetable oil. So I'm gonna beat that up now. Beat it up. Whoops. All right. We're going to put it on the on the base. Okay. All right. Then There's two holes. Uh, right there. Okay. Then what we're going to do? Add the salad. Add the meat with my mom. For the pants, we lined it with wax paper, put some oil, and now we're gonna sprinkle some flour onto it so the cake doesn't stick. Make sure the bottom bolt covered up. Okay? Yeah, that's okay. So, what we did was we evenly put the batter into two pans because we're going to uh, make a two layer cake and we're gonna put some jam in between the layers. This is my first time doing this because usually my mom just makes plain cake and we don't do anything but because it's my dad's birthday today I thought I have to try to make it a little bit fancy. So this is going to go into the oven that is preheated, preheated to 350. Okay so I'm just going to put them in there. Okay, so. okay if you're doing this as a kid make sure you have an adult that's going to supervise you. Okay, and again, it's at 350, and we're going to shut it, and just going to wait for uh, the boxes. 10 minutes. No. No, 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 no. 38. Whoa. So we're going to put the timer on my clock here. Right now it's 243. You know, it's a smaller pan, so it's going to be 28 minutes. Let's put it 20, and we'll check. All right. The elapsed time has been 10 minutes. Let's look in the oven. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, so it's starting to bubble up, bubble up, bubble up, bubble up, bubble, 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 bubble. It's rising a bit. And we'll check it up in another 10 minutes, see how it's doing. Obviously, it's not done. See, if it looks like that, new cookers, if it looks like that, it's still shiny and kind of, like, watery, it's obviously not done. All right, guys, less than a minute left on the clock, so we're going to check up on the thing. So we got a few tips. Tip number one, do not open the oven. Make sure your oven light is working. Okay, you see the top, it's starting to get kind of brown up in there. So it's probably gonna be done. Another thing, we got a brand new stove, as I like to tell you guys a lot. Um, so we put it on bake. Our old stove was like not digital, so there was two things and you can flip the heat up and down, up and down. So this is new for me. So we put it on bake, so it should be okay. And less than a minute left on the clock, so it's going down. I don't Wait. think it's done. So we're going to check it with the toothpick. Usually that would let you know if it's done. If there's no residue on the toothpick, you know it's done. You should poke in the middle. Okay, people, amateurs, make sure you wear gloves. Do not do this, what we're doing right now. You can burn your... Uh, it's a little bit on there. Maybe we'll just leave it in the hot oven. Yeah. This one, I don't know about this one. It's so white. Yeah, oh. no. Ooh, that one's not that. Can I see that? Oh. Oh, I already. I think there was more stuff in there. Now let's look. 
All right, so we put it in for five more minutes, and now we're going to poke it again, and it did a lot better this time. I think it's done. And we think it's done now, so it should be good. All right, so on to the decoration. On to the decoration later on. All right, ladies and gents, we took it out of the oven now, and we're going to let it cool. Then I'm going to head on to Save On Foods with you guys, and we're going to get some Cool Whip strawberries to decorate this double layer cake that we're making. Alright guys, I'm at the grocery store. People might think I'm weird, but I'm gonna, I bought this, or I'm gonna get this for um, putting on top of the cake. It's 35 calories for two servings. I'm not 100% sure what exactly it is. It says glaze. I'm thinking of putting that in the cake. Okay, and now I'm gonna get, I open up here. Um, I'm gonna put some whipped cream on top because it's not the season for strawberries, so we're gonna get this dairy line whipped cream. Or should I get cool whip? Yeah, the cool whip's on sale. Oh man. Um light. This one's the light. Oh, we can get the Western family thing, I'm gonna get this one. So anyway, that's what we're putting on top of the cake. We're putting this short cake glaze and we're putting that. So yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Alright guys, uh, I'm in my car, I'm waiting for my mom. Uh, I just picked up some frozen yogurt to serve with the ice cream on the side. So it's called Vanilla Plus Island Farms. You can get it in BC, this is from the Vancouver Island. It's pretty nice and it's raspberry swirl going with our um, strawberry cherry raspberry type of theme for the cake. Excellent. Okay, so what we did is we were taking the um, cake out of the pan and we've put it um, bottom side up so but before she takes out the other one let me show you what I bought from uh, so what I bought from Save On Foods it's a glaze looks like this we're gonna spread that in the middle layer so I'm gonna do that and then I'll make another clip so I spread only it only took one cup to spread on a whole cake it's awesome and it's only 35 calories right there okay we're gonna add the other thing put the flat side on the bottom like a sandwich, like a jam sandwich. Ooh, pretty good. All right, guys, as you can see, it's covered up now because we decided to do the whole edge and the top with the um, shortcake glaze, and it's not as sweet as jam, so it's good. And then we're going to use the whipped cream when we're gonna serve, and we're gonna put it all around the top and on the edges. So we'll show you that 